Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm so excited for today's video. This is maybe the most excited I've ever been for a handbag. Also the most nervous because obviously when you unbox a handbag, it's the first time that you are seeing the specific bag in person. So I'm like equally excited, equally nervous. Obviously by the title of this video, you know exactly what bag this is. This is the Chanel Classic Double Flap Bag. It's vintage, it's lambskin, and this is a bag that I have truly been obsessed with since high school, maybe middle school. I would watch so many reviews on this specific bag, and I remember like staying up super late, like in my bed on my laptop, like watching YouTube unboxings and reviews of the specific bag, what fits in my bag, what carry. Like, I was so obsessed with a classic Chanel, and you guys know I do have a medium single flat bag, but I've never taken the plunge and fully invested in the classic double flap. So we're gonna open this up. This is an early birthday present for me and Jason and I decided together that this was a really great time to make this purchase and it's just something that I'm gonna hold on to forever. I actually am gonna be selling my Gucci Marmont to kind of, I don't know, I didn't want two black bags with gold hardware and personally, I would carry the Chanel over the Gucci any day and we can get more into that, but we're gonna go ahead and open up this bag. I'm so excited. Like I was literally sitting on the ground here in front of the fireplace eating my bowl of granola and I heard the doorbell ring and I just threw my granola down and I ran to the door. I was just so excited. So we're gonna just open it up. So like I mentioned, this is a vintage classic flap. I got it off of the Real Real, and I know some people have like mentioned about how they've had issues with the Real Real. I have bought three bags from the Real Real now and have had no issues with them. So I just decided to go with a brand that I actually had used and had loved ordering through. So here we go. The new ones retail for almost double what the vintage pieces go for. And there's actually a really like, not big difference between the vintage and the new bags, but they're definitely two different styles. And I actually had gone in to the Chanel store, tried on this size, and I decided that I love this size. I love where it hits on my body. And I wanted to look into purchasing it. Obviously the new ones are wildly, wildly priced. And I do think maybe one day I might be able to like, really splurge and get one of those, but I wanted to get the classic flap as a vintage piece because they, based on the reviews that I've watched, are just honestly way nicer made. They're better quality, the materials used, they're actually plated with 24 karat gold. And I just think Chanel is such a beautiful, classic, timeless brand. And this bag is one of the most timeless, classic pieces from Chanel. And to have one that is vintage just feels appropriate. So inside of here, we've got my receipt, all of that stuff. But we're just gonna you're just get right back into the bag because literally who cares about that stuff. Um, so like I said, I ordered off of the Real Real. I have ordered multiple things off of there, but here she is. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is the softest leather I have ever felt. This is so, so buttery. And this is in incredible condition. Like I, I searched high and low for a vintage small classic flap and I found this one at a pretty decent price compared to what the other ones were and it had the least amount of wear and you never know though, when you're buying a bag, you're like, is it actually gonna show up and be as good as it looked online? And this looks pretty dang good for vintage. Like there's honestly very, very little wear on the corners. There's literally like no wear on the back. The front 14 karat gold plated logo doesn't have any scratches. It's honestly like flawless. Like it is so beautiful. There are tiny, tiny little like nicks in the bag where maybe like your nails caught it or it kind of hit somewhere on your jeans. Like there are little divots on it, you can tell. But for the most part, it is not scratched. Even the bottom is beautiful. This just feels 
so nice. Like, that's one of my favorite things about designer bags. My thing is designer bags, honestly, like, that is what I choose to spend my money on when it's time to like do a big purchase for the year. It's a bag. It always kind of has been since I've been able to afford handbags. And my collection is still relatively small. Like I said, I'm actually gonna sell my Gucci Marmont um, just because I, I want to carry this. If I'm gonna carry a black flat bag, it's gonna be this baby. Um, but with all of the designer handbags that I have, Obviously the quality of them is just immaculate. That's what I love about designer bags is, is you touch them and you can feel the craftsmanship. You can feel the quality of materials. They're just, it's like nothing else. And it's something that a lot of people honestly don't care for, but I just love, like nobody in my family understands my bag obsession. No one gets why I would spend X amount of dollars on something that holds things. But to me, where I just really, enjoy diving in on is handbags. And so this was kind of like a milestone in a bag collection, the classic flap from Chanel. Chanel also, it's just totally my vibe. I love super classic, timeless, clean outfits. And so this just feels like me. I know a lot of times people don't like the classic flap because it feels too formal or too elegant. I love wearing loafers and blazers and I just like dressing like that. So this just feels so me. And I also got the small one because I loved the way that it looked on my frame. I'm five foot two, so I'm quite a bit shorter. And when I tried it on in the store, it just fit me really, really nicely. And so, yeah, I am so, so happy. I'm gonna take off the foam and protective plastic here, and then we'll like get into the bag itself. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't know how I haven't popped it open. You guys can hear Riley come in. Riley, you wanna see my new bag? You wanna see mom's new bag? Come here, look, mama got a new bag. You can't touch it though, don't put your little nose on it. Whenever I get something new, Riley just knows and she comes over and she sticks her little wet nose on it. And you're not allowed to stick your wet nose on this thing. So this is the 24 karat gold plated hardware in the chain. So it's definitely more of a yellow gold than the newer bags. I believed it was around like 2008 when they stopped doing the 24 karat gold plating. And I mean, y'all, it's stunning. Like it is, beautiful and it's funny is like after I purchased this I went on to YouTube and I watched every single video I could find on a vintage classic double flap small bag and I just with every review I watched I just hoped that mine would look as good and as beautiful and I think we I think we lucked out y'all um how beautiful is this so what really turned me on to this one is actually how perfect the interior was as well so not only is the outside of the bag like flawless the interior was really really well kept too so you have the lipstick holder the two pockets the classic compartment here in the back this is the softest leather Ever. And that was something that made me a little bit nervous about going with lambskin because I, whenever I purchase something that is designer, I want it to be something that I don't have to baby so much because I'm like, if I'm gonna spend the money on that, I'm using that, like I'm gonna use it. And so things like my Celine is pebbled, my Gucci chain wallet is the Gigi Supreme kind of canvas, wax canvas. And so those are definitely bags. Like I literally spilt, you guys are gonna freak. I spilt soap, like I was smelling a soap at Publix and I spilt it down my Celine bag and I was like, oh gosh. So I like ran to the bathroom, wiped it off, totally fine. This on the other hand is definitely a very delicate material. So that's just kind of what it is. Like I know that for something like this, it has the maroon lining on there. I don't know if you guys can see. I know with a bag like this, it just, it is what it is. And it's definitely gonna have to be a little bit more well kept. The leather doesn't feel dry at all. I was worried that I was gonna get maybe like a dried, kind of like old aged leather, but this feels really, really nice. Like it honestly, it definitely lives up to what I thought it would be. I'm gonna have to put some stuff in it cause you can see it's kind of just bowing a little bit, but it is so perfect. <laughs> 
I literally want to go somewhere just so I can wear this bag out. Like it says Chanel Paris here on the clasp, the zipper pocket up here. For the love letters, you know I watched all of the history on this bag. Like I know what all the pockets are for. Um, that is how obsessed I am. But yeah, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got this bag beauty and it, it's matching me. I didn't mean to do that, but the burgundy, it's so, so stunning. Guys, I wish you could feel this because it, it just, it doesn't like 100% justify the price, but it really makes you appreciate a bag like this. It feels like a work of art. It feels timeless. It just feels amazing. And to know that this is vintage is crazy because it was just so well cared for. And that's the thing about these types of bags when you buy designer secondhand is you know that the type of person who had a bag like this really cared for this bag. And so I feel really happy about my purchase. You can obviously, you know, drop the strap, wear it crossbody. I'll show you guys some shots of it on. But I actually brought my Gigi Marmot bag down here so that you could see the size difference and why I went with a smaller one. What's hilarious is I actually originally bought my Gigi Marmot a smaller version of it, sold that, and then bought the bigger version of it. But after using the larger version, I kind of have been regretting switching out for the bigger version. So when I went to the Chanel store and I tried on the different sizes, when I tried on the small, I just knew this is what I needed for my frame. And I think it looks so, so nice on somebody who's petite. If you are, you know, taller than five foot two, you're probably gonna want the medium bag or even the jumbo. But for someone like me, and I don't like to carry a ton of stuff, I find that when I pack my bag full, it just gets heavy and I don't wanna carry it. And that's the thing about the Marmot bag and my other Chanel bag is that if you don't pack it full, it actually will kind of deflate and lose its shape. And I don't like the look of that either. So I was stuffing my bag with just random things to carry around with me so that I would keep the shape of the bag. And I actually kept the shape of my Gigi Marmot so well, like honestly, I probably should have worn this more than what I did while having it, but can I just be real for a second? I feel like the Gucci is a little bit more in your face than the Chanel, even though if you look at prices, you would say the Chanel is so much more bougie. However, the Chanel to me feels classic and elegant understated. The <laughs> Gucci Marmot is a beautiful, beautiful bag. It is actually the most stunning interior. It's like this beautiful suede interior. It's actually pretty like durable for how smooth the leather is. I would say it's nowhere near as soft and delicate as the classic flap, but for some reason I just didn't reach for it that much, especially after I got my Celine and my other Chanel and even my chain wall. I found myself reaching for those more because they were all a little bit more understated. And so when I was thinking about, you know, what I really, really want for my birthday, my husband and I talked it over and we decided, you know, like one, we're not gonna keep this if I do end up getting the Chanel. Cause it just, I don't know, I don't need both and I'm gonna carry this one. Um, so this one is just naturally the one that's gonna be removed from my wardrobe, but I have just loved using it. It's like almost brand new. That's what's so crazy. It is it literally could be honestly passed as a new bag. Like the interior is perfect. There's no scuffs on it, no marks on it, not stretched out at all. It's kept its shape, stored really nicely. So I think I could actually sell that for a really good price. But back to this beauty. <laughs> This bag, y'all, it is exactly what I was looking for. Like it is exactly as I had pictured it. So I'm so excited to use this, to put myself in it. I actually ha I have all my bags on here. Like what am I doing? Um, I actually was carrying this earlier today. So I can just go ahead and transfer my stuff over, I guess. I have currently right now my stuff in this Chanel wallet, which is what Jason, my husband, got me for my birthday two years ago, I believe. It is this kind of like flat quilt and then a bunch of card holders and just stuff like that. So I'm not positive like I'll keep this wallet in this bag just because it takes up most of the bag. But one thing is 
it does keep the shape really nicely. And I just don't carry that much stuff on me. Like in the Celine and in the Chanel, as I try to stuff them, actually I don't really stuff the Celine. You don't have to because it's pretty structured. But in my Marmot and my other Chanel bag that's a little bit flatter, I would literally throw in like a dry shampoo, a hairbrush, a pouch of random stuff because I was just like, I don't want this thing to lose its shape. But honestly, in this bag, I'm just gonna pare it down to the stuff that I actually just want to carry. Like I don't really wanna carry around a dry shampoo and a hairbrush and a lotion, like all that other stuff. So like that was truly just for the purposes of keeping that bag stuffed. But yeah, my wallet legit like takes up the bag. So I might need to switch over to like a card holder wallet if I want to carry other stuff but for the most part I don't I don't really carry that much stuff like for a handbag I carry like usually like a tiny hand lotion a lip product eye drops hair ties and that's kind of about it I really just like to pare it down I don't like a bunch of excess so I will have to figure out how I want to fill this beauty but yeah if you're considering shopping vintage over new, I would 100% recommend it. I am so satisfied with this. I actually love the shiny lambskin and I love the bolder gold. I think the 24 karat gold is stunning. Like you're just not gonna find quality and craftsmanship like this in a newer bag. I think that the materials that they used in vintage are just so nice. Like. I do think the caviar leather is gorgeous and I do see myself maybe one day getting a bag that has the caviar leather. For the most part, I'm so happy with just this classic, this classic lambskin beauty. So I'll try it on, show you guys what it looks like on because you guys will see why I chose this size, how it looks on me. And yeah, just it lives up to what I thought it would. So that's really, really good. <laughs> okay, so this is the bag on my shoulder. I've got both of the straps shortened like this and it just fits so well on me like i said i'm five foot two and i think it is the just perfect size for me i'm so happy to have a bag that just fits me really well and then you can drop the strap and wear it crossbody so this is where it hits on me crossbody and i love i love 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 where it hits i like when my bags hit kind of on my hips versus on my thigh. I feel like when they hit my leg, I just walk and they, they kind of bounce. So I really like where this hits on me. I think this is the perfect length. Oh, I cannot believe how amazing this is. It's so, so pretty. It's a really, really good length too to like get into because it's not too low to where you're like having to like hold the bag up with your knee. It's like literally right here for me. So this is, feels like it's made for me, but I think it's so cute and it's gonna look so good dressed casually or dressed up and it's just perfect. I don't know, that's all I can say. It's, it's the most perfect bag ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing my new Chanel bag with me. I am so, so excited to have one of these in my collection. It is truly just, it's incredible that I even get to hold one of these because middle school Chloe really did not ever see herself owning one of these. I actually had bought a, it wasn't a replica, like it wasn't branded as Chanel, but it was like a similar design bag because it had like the quilts and it actually had like a double flap. It was super cheap, like you could smell it. It smelled like plastic, um, but I love like remembering how passionate I was about this specific bag back then because it makes owning it now just feel so surreal. Like it really does feel like such an accomplishment, such a milestone and just something that I have just really wanted for a long, long time. So I'm so grateful to have one now and I hope you guys enjoyed you know unboxing this i hope it gives you confidence in buying vintage versus new if that's something that you've been interested in but yeah if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next one very very soon bye y'all